In the 17th century, Isaac Newton, he came up with the laws of motion and the universal gravity. How did it start? It started when he asked himself a question. Remember that apple fell on his head? He asked himself why or what caused the apple to fall down. So asking questions will always lead to answers, evidences, and more. But how to ask questions properly in English? That's what we're going to discuss together in this video. What's happening everyone? This is Abdurrahman Ramadan from Let's Talk Channel, your online source to learn English at your own pace, anytime, anywhere. Let's get started. In English, we have two different types of questions. We have closed questions and open questions. Closed questions are not that great for discussions. On the flip side, open questions are. Closed questions, they start with helping verbs or modal auxiliary. Helping verbs such as verb to be, the one we studied in our last class, and verb to do, verb to have. Or modal auxiliary such as will, would, shall, should, may, might, and can, could. On the other side, open questions, they start with question words or question phrase. Question words such as why, where, when, what, and question phrase such as how long, how often, how much, etc. Today we'll talk about how to form closed questions out of verb to be because it's the one we talked about more in details in our previous classes. And in our upcoming classes, we'll talk more in details about verb to do and verb to have. But in general, I want you to get used to the format of a closed question. Remember when we talked about verb to be in our previous class and we said that it can be formed as am, is, are? I always takes am, he, she, it, take, is, they, we, you, take, are. I am. I want to form a closed question out of that. Simply, I will take the helping verb and put it right in front of the subject at the beginning of the sentence. So I am will become am I. He is will become is he, she is, is she, it is, is it. They are, are they? We are, are we? You are, are you? And then we gotta put the main verb. Let's put an example so we get a clear picture. Am I in this class? Am I in this class? Is he coming with us? Is she beautiful? Are they playing tonight? Are we going to the game? Are you happy in your life? So all these are closed questions. And to answer those kind of questions, I would simply say yes or no. Am I in this class? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Or just yes. Yes is a short answer. Yes, you are is a long answer. Are we going to the game? Yes, we are going to the game, or yes, we are, or just yes. So, long answer, short answer. Let's look at the open questions. The open questions, it's the same exact format, but we're going to add a, a question word or a question phrase. Are we going to the game? When are we going to the game? When? When are we going to the game? I need to know when. So open questions here, I'm looking for more information. I need to know more. What time? Is he coming with us? Why is he coming with us? Why? So simply what I did here, I put the question word right in front of all the format. Let's use a question phrase. Question phrase such as how long, how often, how many, how much, etc. How long will the trip take us? How long will the trip take us? It will take us about three hours. It will take us about three hours. So see here, I didn't actually use yes or no. I gave you more information. I gave you how long or the duration of the trip. So closed questions and open questions are really easy to use. You just need to practice them. Write down all the helping verbs you know, put them at the beginning of any sentence, and then use a subject. The subject can be you and I, he or she, or whoever, or whatever. And then put a main verb. Do you like this video? If you do, press like. If you don't, press like. 
Open questions when you need to know more information. Why don't you like the video? What do you like about the video? So that was it for opening and closed questions and how to form them in English. Thanks very much for watching. I'm really sorry about my voice. I have a cold and it's about this time of year. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was it for today. And have yourself a wonderful day and I'll see you next one. Peace.